fellow earthlings what's up i'm gonna go ahead and just do a walkthrough of like my favorite features of this truck so far and uh then you can see it from the inside out and i'm gonna show you like basically all the uh custom work that he did on the rails and uh, the hydraulic system just to make it work for my dumpsters it's uh pretty late right now i think it's like six o'clock let me check <laughs> So yeah, it's 5.40 right now, and uh, it's looking pretty dark. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick walkthrough. Um, and yeah, 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 so let's, do, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so first we'll start with the outside of the truck. It's a pretty clean truck, but uh, we just have to get rid of these logos on the front here. And it's just basically like the leftover sticker. And what we're going to do is like take some goof off. Um, actually, comment down below if you know a good way to get this stuff off without ruining my paint. Um, I want to get it off and I'm going to re-logo it with my own vinyl printer and everything. I'm probably going to have to buff this out because it's like shinier. Um, where they had their vinyl, but this was an ambulance guys It's uh, I told you earlier, but it's a, it's a freight liner. This is a freight liner business class m2 It has a mercedes-benz engine in it I'll go ahead and open that up now so you guys can see and these horns actually uh, They were they were original from the paramedics. So we we're gonna reconnect those horns on each side and uh, yeah, that shit's gonna be loud. Ah, and we're gonna probably take this thing through a couple of parades. But this is the engine here. And uh, it's pretty nice, like it's really clean looking. There are absolutely no leaks in it. Um, this truck is awesome. So I don't really know anything about the Mercedes-Benz diesel engine, except for the fact that like it really is a good, smooth feeling engine um so far for the first couple of days of having it i love the way this thing rides so that's the engine um it, it runs on diesel fuel so that's amazing um i love diesel trucks this thing will last to uh, a million miles um literally uh it hasn't even hit 200,000. this this truck is a 2007 um business class Freightliner and it only has 134,000 miles on it, which on a diesel engine that's not even breaking it in yet. You you break diesel engines in at like 200,000. Um, so let's move on to the back here uh, or, or, or right here. Um, this this step side is where they keep the batteries. There's four batteries in there. Um, I actually have to ask him for the key for that because I couldn't get it open today. But this truck has. A solid 14 amps of power all the time um, I haven't seen it below 14 amps it was like 14.1 14.2 um, great power from the batteries there um, these windows are actually or, or sorry these mirrors right here are actually electric so we can move them we can move the mirrors uh, automatically with buttons on the inside of the truck so for 2007 this was like the the high class um, business class vehicle it even has wood grain i'll show you that um let's get to the back part here uh this is my winch system and it's all run by hydraulics so it's very very quiet when you're winching up you can't even hear it really moving uh and then it has a safety chain here that which he welded to the surface and then when we take that safety chain off um he actually gave us a place to clip it to so it's not like fl flopping around or moving around uh, while we're um, dumping it or whatever. So, let me put that back on. This winch can hold 9,000 pounds or lift 9,000 pounds, but um, you know, we rarely do 9,000 pounds, but sometimes we do. We do freaking, we lift a 20,000 pound container and I usually do that on my trailer because it's really heavy duty and it has the, the tandem axle. Um, so yeah, the hydraulic handles are here. He installed all of this. He custom built the, the, the mount that it's on. He custom built the mount that the toolbox is on. 
and um, so this hydraulic here is for the up and down for the dumpster to dump up and down and then this one here is for the winch to let it up and down from the winch and what's good about hydraulics is it's sense it's like um, it's movement sensitive so I can for example I can move it all the way up and it can go really fast or I can let off a little bit ease off and it'll slow it down so it's not like just on and off it's actually you have slower and faster points in the um, in the lever itself pretty cool so yeah guys if you have any questions about this truck and i don't cover any of those questions um just comment down below and then i'll answer them like in another video uh yeah so let's see the tarp system here is awesome uh it's a pto tarp so it runs off the engine actually and i'll show you that when we get to the inside all the controls and everything he he custom built the fenders on this thing literally the fenders he custom built he custom built all the lights he custom built the flaps uh the rails that the dumpster's sitting on that's all custom built i'm not going to turn it on and um lift it up or anything right now because it's full of crap we just got back from a load uh i'll show that in another video but you know how it works and, and you can tell this whole tarp system right here that's custom built uh, he welded all that um he hooked it up PTO he hooked up all the electronics uh, as far as the switch goes and this guy has just really done a great job $20,000 guys I got this truck for I can't believe that like I got my trailer and five dumpsters uh, for about after taxes and everything I'm gonna end up paying like 40,000 for those they've already made way more than 40,000 so that's not a problem um the profits there but the the, th the whole thing about that is i got this truck for 20,000 bucks no containers but 20,000 bucks for this thing great deal it works awesome and um and i'm loving it so far so let's move on to the uh, other side of the truck and uh, i'll just show you like what's over there so we got some tires you know on both sides of the truck <laughs> just kidding um all right so right here we have a uh, custom built um stair he literally bent this welded welded this and 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 put it on bolted it on and everything he put custom um brackets under here and uh this is the the fuel tank so he literally built that around the fuel tank this guy is super skilled so i appreciate he really did a lot of work on this and and i and i say it's worth more than twenty thousand. And, but that was the price and I was blown away. It's awesome. We paid for this truck cash money and uh, and uh, yeah, so it's amazing. All right guys, so this is the hydraulic right here, a hydraulic fluid container. So we fill it up, uh, you know, obviously it's full. We probably shouldn't have to touch that unless we have some kind of blowout um, and it should be good for a while. He custom built the uh, fenders on this side, the, the tarp system bars obviously on this side because that's part of the whole tarp system. Um, a cool thing I like about this truck is it has like handles everywhere to help you, you know, get around. And, um, you know, I'm such an old man that I need that. <laughs> no, but I just thought it was cool. It just really helps you get into a tall truck like this. Um, let's go ahead and go into the inside and see how that looks. Okay, so. Um, Let's take a little break of the truck real quick. I wanted to show you guys my um, Better Business Bureau folder I just received. And I know that I made a thumbnail with my Better Business uh, Bureau folder in my hand. And this this is kind of explains that. So um, I just joined Better Business Bureau, but they've been calling me for like two years because I have all five star reviews and uh, and I don't have any bad reviews anywhere that uh they just called me and said you know you have good reputation we'd like to to um have you be a, a better business bureau accredited company and i just kept saying no because i was getting business without them uh but this year we're making money i had the extra it was like 400 dollars or something for uh better business bureau for the year but you have to be accepted in so like first they accept you in um and you just have to be a great company and then you get accepted in or, or they invite you in or whatever um and then you just pay the uh 400 fee they send you the um the better B business bureau accredited business bbb.org uh sticker and they'll send you as many stickers as they want uh or as i they'll send you as many stickers as you want that's what the lady told me 
Uh, but yeah, so this this uh, right here, I'm hoping it's gonna just help grow our company even more. And yeah, so like we're really busy right now, but I'm still doing stuff like this and spending money uh, to get more business. I wanna keep this flow going, uh, perpetual motion. It's uh, the law of perpetual motion. You just keep something going. You, you, uh, uh, the motion that just keeps going forward and does not stop. And that's what I want my business to be uh, from this point on. You guys are part of that. I really appreciate it. Um, so uh, let's get into the truck and I'll show you what the inside looks like. Uh, so inside the truck here, we've got wood grain. I, I know it's like, let me see if I can turn some lights on. Yeah, we got some lights on up in here. Oh. Oh, oh, they got red lights. That's cool. What? Look at that. Look at the red lights. Okay, anyway, we got wood grain, guys. Uh, like I said before, it's got air brakes. It's got electric windows right here. It's got um, power locks. It's got heated mirrors, so it can um, heat the mirrors up in the morning and make them clear for you. Um, it's got uh, speed control, cruise control. You can accelerate, decelerate. You can change the um, poundage, um, uh, the PSI of like the uh, the pump, the air pump in here. Uh, it's got headlights. Imagine that. It's got headlights. Um, what I like, really like about it, is it doesn't have your traditional drive shaft. It's got buttons, guys. So literally, I push the uh, air brake, release the air brake. And then you push drive and you start driving. When you want to put it in park, you hit neutral and you pull the air brake and it's in park. Um, and obviously the R is for reverse. And I think this mode here means like um, like heavy duty mode. So if you're hauling something heavy, you just turn that on and it, and it makes the gears change differently. It's kind of like an overhaul mode. Uh, here in the center, you have the AC modules. So right here we have the, the two... Um, these are the two levers that are outside but these levers are controlled by air so they use these um use air to control the levers outside so they're very very it's when we use these inside it's either on or off it's not like the ones out there where you can kind of ease on or ease off these are literally on or off so it's like going down or it's going up um, so we use this uh, to like pick our dumpsters off, drop our dumpsters off and all that. But when we're going down with the rails, we only go down like halfway with it because it goes down so fast. And then we get out and use the, that other lever to, to bring it down slower. And I'll give you an example on another video of that. So yeah, these seats have uh, air. They're air rides. So they like go up and down by air. They get firmer and softer and you could just like get, you know, your most comfortable ride for your weight. Um, I'm gonna turn these lights off now, but this actually has a uh, um, ambulance horns on it still, and those are completely legal. Like I said earlier, we're gonna get these horns hooked up, and that's gonna be really cool. We'll take this thing through a parade after we got it all logoed out, and uh, and honk that horn, throw some candy out the dumpster, whatever, um, because that's just another way to advertise, guys. You can get into these parades if you have a nice truck. Um, and advertise that way so that's a, another tip of the day i hope you guys enjoy seeing this um new awesome uh rig that we just bought and this is a uh new point an awesome turning point in our business where we're just going to start growing and growing and growing from here now that we have two trucks we can have two teams and we literally right now we have the business to do that so it's getting dark out here guys i don't even know if you can see me anymore I just want to say peace out. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, and comment down below, like I said, if you have any questions about the truck or about my business, and I'll be happy to answer them. We'll talk to you soon.